Chapter 174. In just fooling you. Damn it, I don't believe I still have to deal with a dead thing like you who don't even have an owner. Song Shi's stubborn temper flared up. In a flash, he closed and Nan grabbed it again. Extreme freezing power surged over, freezing Sanchez's arm solid. He hurriedly released the pure Yan true fire and forced the cold dare back with difficulty. Then, he formed a seal and shot out runes that landed on it. He began to try to control this thing. Just as he was about to forcefully subdue the numinous artifact, a black shadow floated into the cave. Following that, a teasing voice sounded. Head. You really sneaked in. You want to secretly take the treasures for yourself, right? Sanchez's expression changed. He turned his head and stared at the rather arrogant Lu Yuai, frowning. What do you mean by sneaking in? I came in with my own abilities. HMPH, you sneaked in. My father and the others are fighting very hard outside. You're the only one who's taking advantage of the situation right now. Lu Yuai sneered. Song Shi mocked, aren't you here to take advantage of me? Indifferent from you. Father let me, Liu Yu put her hands behind her back and clicked her tongue. I didn't expect you to be such a person. You took the initiative to work so hard just now. So it's for this treasure. The gray fog squirmed as old man Nightmare appeared beside him. He looked at the jade token in front of Song Shi. Miss, these are numinous artifacts. I really didn't expect these beast slayers to have such treasures. As soon as he finished speaking, the token in front of Sanshi trembled and broke free. It collided with Lu Yuayu and disappeared. Sanshi was in the mood to curse. Now, he finally understood how the perfected Lord of Treasures felt. The duck that was in his mouth had flown away. Lu Yuayu was stunned for a moment before she laughed out loud. Did you see that? You're not fated with the treasure. Sanshi frowned. He definitely did not believe in fate. If he guessed correctly, it was because the nature of his cultivation techniques and that thing countered each other. So the spiritual jade tokens and numinous artifacts were unwilling to be controlled by him. It's just a lousy token, if him not faded. So be it. Sanchi did not care too much. His body was the strongest weapon. Everything else was just icing on the cake. He quickly composed himself and took a bite of the spider leg as if nothing had happened. He turned around and took out an insect egg from the ice jade bed and began to roast it with pure, yawn true fire. At the same time, he controlled his clone to enter and retrieve the Blood River Dharma treasures. Sanchi continued to roast the eggs and a special egg fragrance appeared. Although Lu Yoaya said that, she swallowed her saliva and changed her words, roast one for me too. Why Sholdi? Sanchi retorted, because you stole the tea leaves I picked painstakingly. Lu Yuayu said righteously, you even snatched my numinous artifact. Song Shi pursed his lips and stopped her, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. Seeing that Song Shi turned around and ignored her. Lu Yuayu gritted her teeth and went to get the eggs herself. Boom. Just as her hand touched the egg, a loud bang exploded at the entrance of the cave. Instantly, the ground shook, and destructive waves of fire rushed in. Miss, be careful. Oldman Nightmare held a straw hat-shaped Dharma treasure in front of Lu Yuayu and blocked it. Powerful force. A golden bell-like energy barrier appeared on San Shi's body, blocking the aftershock of the battle. He did not move at all. Amidst the aftershocks, a large spider that was charred black and cover in wounds retreated in a sorry state. It happened to see San Shi roasting his eggs. Its eyes instantly turned red as it charged back angrily. However, after it saw Lu Yuayu, it did not attack Sanshi immediately. Instead, it pounced onto Lu Yuayu and Old Man Nightmare. Miss, reach react quickly. Old Man Nightmare had just reminded him when he was stuck to the spot by the spider web. With a bang, a hole was pierced through his straw hat Dharma treasures by the spider leg. If not for the fact that his clothes were also Dharma artifacts, he would probably have been injured on the spot. However, this also sent him flying. The spider web was even more tightly wrapped around him, and he could not escape for a moment. This made Lu Yuayu face the spider emperor alone. Under the terrifying and fierce aura, her face could not help but turn pale. She was not so scared that she was in a daze. She hurriedly formed a seal and the purple bracelet on her wrist flew out. It quickly enlarged and turned into a purple barrier in front of her. However, the moment the two sides came into contact, she was sent flying and blood flowed from the corner of her mouth. Blood Robidelder, 
Oldman Nightmare could not break free from the spider web for a moment. He could only call out to San Shi anxiously. At the same time, he chanted an incantation Nan Form Basile. A gray thread shot out and landed on the spider emperor's head. The latter's eyes were a little dazed, and his movements became slow. But he was not completely under Old Man Nightmare's control. You have something of it on you. Naturally, it's chasing you. Give it to me, it'll help you attract it to attack me instead. Song Shi looked at the injured Lu Yoayu quietly. But you also have his egg. Lu Yoayu got up from the ground, not believing Song Shi's words. It only has one token, but there's a pile of eggs left. Song Shi shook his head. If you don't throw it away, I won't be able to help you. Don't blame me if you lose your life. Lu Yoayu hesitated. She looked at the spider emperor, who was clearly seriously injured but was still very terrifying. She gritted her teeth and opened her hand. A jade token appeared. As expected, after seeing the token, the confusion in the spider emperor's eyes quickly dissipated. A ferocious aura erupted, and his movements suddenly became faster. Lu Yoayu was shocked and hurriedly threw the token away, but Song Shi, who was already prepared, grabbed it. Her her. I got it back. Golden light flickered in Song Shi's palm. This time, he did not use fire attribute power. Instead, he used metal attribute power to forcefully suppress it. Other than the fire spirit root, he also had the metal spirit root. However, his powers were all in his spirit body and he did not cultivate any individual dharmic powers. The metal and ice did not counter each other. The latter trembled and gradually calmed down. You still dare to take it? You have a death wish. Seeing that Song Shi dared to accept something that the spider Amper valued, Lu Yoayu snorted and quickly retreated. At this moment, the spider Amper's attention was indeed on Song Shi again. With a scream, Old Man Nightmare spat out blood. His crowd control spell was broken and he suffered a backlash. The spider Amper broke free from the control and turned around to charge at Song Shi. Splash! A black chain suddenly shot in from the entrance of the cave. It wrapped around its thigh like a venomous snake and pulled it out. Then, more chains rushed in. This was Lugia's timely attack. His soul lock chain was not simple. With a pole, the spider Amper's soul loosened. For a moment, it was difficult to control its body, and its movements became stiff. Dad, Lai Yu was pleasantly surprised. Then, she said, in frustration, Damn it, even if I didn't throw out the black ice token, I would have still been fine. This guy must have sensed that father was coming, so he tricked me into throwing the treasure back to him. At this moment, Sanshi deliberately grinned at Lu Yuai. You're right, in just fooling you. Just as Lu Yuai was so angry that her eyebrows shot up, Sanshi's eyes flashed with golden light, and his entire aura changed drastically. Just now, he looked ordinary and did not have much strength, but at this moment, he was like a volcano erupting. He took a step forward and slid down, instantly moving under the spider Amper's stomach. Dragon in Neski, he mobilized a large amount of nomological power and gathered the power of his spirit body in his palm. The attack of the dragon subduing palm erupted. Boom. A bloody hole appeared in the spider Amper's stomach. Its huge body was sent flying, shattering many rocks on the ceiling. Song Shi drew his sword and chased with his gust wine sword skill. Die. With a low shout, he cut off the spider Amper's head.